Hey Scorpio, how's it going? This is going to be a very personal reading, channeling in the person that you're currently thinking about, the one that's in your heart, messages from their heart and soul to you. We're going to see what their feelings and emotions are for you. We're going to see how, what action they're going to take, how spirit is helping the connection. And like I said, I'm going to make it as personal as possible. So you know to take what resonates and then make sure you're watching your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for additional clarity. I'm giving away three free readings this month. All I need you to do is become a subscriber and leave a heart, I'm sorry, leave a pumpkin emoji in the comment section of each reading. As I'm shuffling, I see these hearts and I said heart. A pumpkin emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine from now until the end of the month. At the end of the month, I will randomly choose three people. You get to tell me what you would like your reading to be in reference to. Um, and then I'll announce the November reading, the November giveaway. All right, take that moment. Take a deep breath, Scorpio. Think about whom you're asking for and about what you want for the future with this person. Ask your spirit guides in the universe to bring you clarity and guidance through this reading. Spirit messages from the person Scorpio is channeling in from their heart and soul to Scorpio. All right. We've got telepathic 5D connection, possibly twin flame, strong soul, strong soul, um, connection you could be like possibly driving along in your car hearing a song normally wouldn't resonate with you but there are verses and words that make you think about someone this person specifically you could be dreaming about this person and you know that you awake in the morning and you're like oh man i was doing so good trying to get over them why did i just dream about them it's possible you got that strong soul connection and you connect with each other when you close your eyes it says i feel you through everything the things i touch the images i see and the voices i hear we are connected throughout this universe even if we are miles apart and this is what number is this this is 56 11 small offering I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm sure of what I can, I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. This person wants to be with you. Whatever their situation is, they've got a lot of responsibility. Maybe they have children, you know. Maybe they're working on their career or their education. They're going through a divorce or legality stuff like, you know, child support or whatever that child custody. You know, who knows? It's going to be different for each and every one of you what the situation is. Maybe the two of you met at work and that's that work, you know, professional, personal life boundaries. They want to be able to give you more and they're putting it out there that if they could, they would. I feel like a huge light bulb going off in this person's mind of how deep they feel for you. Scorpio spirit additional messages of my for my Scorpio the person that they are channeling into this reading I am not the same person so this person has definitely evolved 
went through a hard realization, possibly spiritual awakening, transformation. Things got too intense for me and I ran away from you. So many unsaid things between us. I'm really getting that this person had a lot on their plate. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. All right, Scorpio, let's get into the reading. There are feelings and emotions for you. Spirit, the person that Scorpio is channeling into this reading, feelings and emotions for Scorpio. The death card wanted to fall out, so I do feel transformation within this person. Feelings and emotions. All right, I got water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They know that you are very compassionate and very nurturing. They knew what you were expecting from them in terms of feelings and emotions because you were emotionally grounded. You knew what you were looking for. They know that you had that warm heart for them. And you made them want to take a leap of faith. They cannot stop thinking about you. But I got to tell you, I do have... I feel like there's things that are weighing on them. A lot of responsibilities that make them retract, pull back. A lot of chaos and drama possibly going on in their life. And then we have the nine of wands in reverse. <clears throat> this person's definitely going through some hard times. I feel with the eight of swords and the nine of wands, they're lacking a direction within their own life. They want it to take that leap of faith towards you. Anything else, Spirit, that you can bring? Yeah, see, you. it's not the last that you've heard from them. They are going to reach out to you. They may be a little bit younger than you for some of you. It may start off as a small offer, but it's going to be a grounded offer. Something that has substance. When they reach out to you, they're offering you pretty much what they can. They can't give much. They're saying it. They can't give much. They've got strong feelings for you. They want you. They're hoping that you're going to be accepting of this small offer. But it will move forward. Judgment is at the bottom. They do want to make an amends. This distance that's between the two of you, remember, no, no matter the miles apart, this distance that's between the two of you has put a serious self-evaluation on them. They're going to ask for a second chance. But please remember, when they reach out, it will be something small because that's all they can give you right now. But it will, go, it will evolve to more. feel like they lay awake at nights thinking about you, manifesting you, talking to their spirit guides to heal this connection. Yeah, they were stuck. And it's possible there were things hidden, things that were a burden on them that you may not have been aware of. Things that they kept hidden from you so that they didn't bring so much drama and chaos into your life. Am I making light of the way that they treated you or the way it went down? No. But I'm reading exactly what's coming out. Yeah, they were at an imbalance. Thinking of you puts a smile on their face. And they want to be that perfect partner for you. They want to come to you just as warm and compassionate and as loving as you were to them. I do feel that they're working on their personal growth, 
probably their finances, finding some kind of stability, and they will take action. All right, Spirit, how are you helping this connection? Scorpio and the person they are channeling in, how are you helping? This is fated. This is destiny. The wheel is going to turn in both of your favors to align the two of you together. It's possible you were exactly what this person needed to lose to give them that extra strength and that extra burst of energy in the right direction. To become, to break free from these restrictions and this lack of direction to come towards you stronger. What action is this person going to take? Yeah, see, they are going to take the leap of faith. They're going with their gut instinct. I do feel that there is silence right now, but they're looking at this new growth on their staff with you. The feather. I feel like they've been through some evolving within their own spirituality. And see how this, this person is standing confident, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the leap of faith. I'm going to tell them I'm all in. I'm going to tell them I fell in love with them, but I just couldn't let them, I didn't, couldn't open up to them at that moment. They're going to follow their gut feeling and take that leap of faith towards you. I truly feel this person didn't think that they could give you what you truly deserved. They, they lacked confidence. But like I said, they want to be your perfect partner and they are going to come towards you stronger than you had seen them, than you had dealt with them. All right, spirit. Additional clarity for Scorpio and the person that they are channeling in. Yeah, say, should I stay or should I go? This could even be a relationship that they were leaving and ending. Things that they needed to see through. Only something small that they could offer you in the moment. That's a huge transition within their life. And it like kind of goes hand in hand with this. Should I stay or should I go? Trust issues. I feel things that they have said to you, you knew that they had their trust broken by someone else. You know, they were dealing with shadow work within themselves. Look, they love you. They are going to come towards you and express this. As soon as they relieve, release some of this burden. As soon as they work through it, should you wait around? Absolutely not. Continue on with your life. Does your life have to mean meeting someone else? No, but if that happens along the journey, then go with it. No matter what is in your life, what was meant to be in your life, somehow some way it will work its way in will the transition you know if you have someone and you need to walk away from them for this person that you've always thought about will the transition be easy probably not but it's life this person is going to come towards you when they've released some of this a lot of shadow work but you're what brings that happiness into their life. I feel like they felt they were breadcrumbing you and there was so much more that they wanted to do, experience, and say to you. D E P W T A I N And the rest are repeats. 
All right, take what resonates, Scorpio. Um, leave that pumpkin emoji down below in the comment section to take part in the giveaway. My link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. Currently, there are a few readings being offered, and then the rest of my shop will reopen sometime this upcoming week. So much love and light, guys. Have a great day.